Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I got all this stuff to show you and they are all some kind of uh, blower or dust blower and uh, they're all cordless so they're all battery powered. Um, this one here is the latest one I have. Um, I have a separate video on this so if you're interested please check that out. This one is by a company called Kicker and um, you can't really buy it on the, in the shop yet. Um, you have to join the Kickstarter program and um, you can get one of these for about $100 or maybe $120. And this thing is fantastic. If you haven't checked it out in my video, just have a look and see what crazy stuff that this can do. Um, you also have attached one to be uh, added to the back of this to be a uh, vacuum cleaner. And um, surprisingly, both uh, blowing and sucking work both just fine with that. But then something else caught my eye the other day. Uh, basically, there were some online uh, viral video in China a, um, where a person go around on the street offering some woman some money if they can finish their meal uh, while they use this to blow in the face. I was thinking, you know what, when I look at those videos, um, the noodle was flying off, the soup was flying off, but then the guy was just holding something like this. So I was thinking, okay, you know what, um, do they have something like this on the market already? And then when I have a closer look at that video, basically they have this kind of a power tool battery attached. So I search high and low, and finally I found it. So on Amazon with just two star rating and this thing I bought it for 24 pound without the battery obviously. So just like this is 24 quid. But I have to say the performance just blowed my mind. When I searched online, this thing was actually called a violent blower. Um, this is the name of the, of the product. There's no model number whatsoever. This is just violent blower. I was thinking how violent can it be? But actually, this is crazy violent. And to be honest with you, I think this is borderline a health hazard as well. But I'm going to show you that later. The good thing about this is that you can use all your power tool batteries. I think they do different version of this. So obviously, I am Team Makita. And I've got tons of uh, these batteries here that I can use. Although I have this one already, but this one here have a built-in battery. And with the most powerful mode, eventually the battery runs out and then you're stuck. And then you have to charge it up again. So that one has a fast charge capability. So it doesn't take that long to charge up, but then you are having downtime. But for workmen, tradesmen, if you already have lots of Makita battery like I do, then this thing is fantastic. So why do I have other things here? So this one was given to me for, uh, for free by Amazon Wine. Although it works well and looks similar, but the performance is completely different. So this one moves a lot of air. This one moves a little bit of air, but it has a kind of a concentrated nozzle. So this is really good for like, you know, dusting small area. Whereas this one is good for the garden blowing stuff away uh, as such. Again, this one has no brand. I have seen this with uh, different uh, version of batteries as well. Obviously, again, I'm a Makita fan, so this is a Makita fitting. This one, you can get it for £39 and has four and a half kind of a star rating. So on the internet, people like this a lot more than this one here. But I put it aside because that is not something that I would kind of um, recommend. But you guys can see how good or how bad they are. And finally, this big boy here, this is my go-to um, blower. If I need a blow drop in the garden, this is the one that I will go for. This used two of these crazy big batteries, so they are five um, AH, but still they only last about 10 minutes with the uh, maximum of number six. I'm going to show you all this, how it works, probably in the garden because they are just crazy strong. So back to the violent blower. So this one here, £24.67, and it comes without battery. How it comes is actually with this particular box. Look at this. This is not really professional, is it? The picture doesn't match the description of what is inside. It's called a lithium blower. And it got some leftover Chinese writing on there, which even I can't read. I don't know what they put on there. And inside there is no foam or, you know, bubble wrap or anything like that. Basically, literally, it was just this thing inside the box. And then you have this one here called Ixenbik, Z-I-N-B-A-K-E, Violent Fan. I'm no kidding you, this is a violent fan. Product overview and usage, start blowing, press and hold the power button, uh, charging, this is suitable for desktop charger and wire charger. It doesn't even come with a charger or a battery, so I don't know what he's talking about. It's really, really simple design. You can almost see the motor in here with two wires there. You've got a black and red wire. Very, very rustic, very... Uh, unfinished product. 
At the back here, you can see the blade at the back. It's a plastic blade. Um, this here, the higher end stuff, this is a kind of a turbo blade. It's metal. And this one here, just plastic. Two terminals, um, like power. They're literally, I think there's zero electronic here. So if your battery doesn't have a low power cut out, it will probably kill your battery. I know I'm a big fan of Makita, but actually I never own a Makita charger or Makita battery. Uh, you can see tons of here. A lot of them are free gifted by Amazon. Um, I just use a aftermarket charger and this cheap battery to go with all my Makita tools. And so far I have no problem apart from some of them doesn't fit all your devices because the shape is different from the original. But apart from that, I have no problem with this aftermarket uh, battery. But I don't buy the cheapest um, non-branded battery available on the market because I know some of them suck. And some of them, you open them, they probably put some rocks inside to make it heavy. But um, the one that I use, they are usually uh, quite good in terms of uh, the capacity rating and all that. So slot the battery in there, press the trigger, and then the fan is blowing. This is really, really mild because I'm just literally feathering the button but if i press it to the full power and this is why they call this a violent fan obviously i had it for a couple of weeks now and i never really fully pressed the trigger for longer than let's say five minutes um, purely because i don't want these things to blow up and this thing is crazy strong you probably don't need it for like uh, a a five minute blow or something like that When I say crazy strong, I'm not kidding. This thing is crazy strong. Now this one here, more expensive and it has a little bit more control. First of all, there's a power button at the base of the blower. You have to turn it on first and it got some fancy kind of a LED light on here. And there's two ways to control this. One is the press button here. Now this one is not a trigger button. This one is more like a actually switch button. So basically, if I'm, every time you press it, I think it goes to something like 25, 50, 75, 100. But it also has a uh, dial on the side here that you can actually do kind of a uh, slow increment. Now, if I give you a bit of a close up on this one, so you can see slightly better finish, I guess, but still a bit raw in terms of a design. Um, you've got a kind of a plastic uh, funnel nozzle in the front. This is not removable. And at the back this time, you can't see the blade because there is a uh, kind of a cotton here to filter out the air which is going in. Uh, packaging wise, this one do come with a few more um, gadget included. So it comes with like a funnel, a uh, side clip so we'll go on the side of it so you can hang on the belt and some nozzle brushes and stuff like that so this one here actually comes with a, a bit more uh, functionality and attachments for it to be like a vacuum you do need to take off the filter and you can see this is quite a uh, bad design because you can't really interchange this without tools and it's almost like every time you do it the plastic is going to worn out a little bit. Now, once I uh, take out the rear part of the plastic, you can see in the middle, this one do use a metal blade. This is strong as well, just not as strong as the Violent Fan, which is today's star. Now this one here, if you attach the ton funnel at the back and give it a twist, doesn't really work, does it? Right, hold on, let me try it again. Look, push it all the way in and then twist. It. So does it lock? doesn't even lock. But personally, I don't think I'm going to use it as a hoover because you use this to suck up the stuff, but then there is no really, there isn't a really kind of a tank to put any dust or hair. I think this is more to do with, uh, for example, if you need to vacuum pack something with a airtight ceiling bag. Then we have the Kikar um, blower. Now this one here is the most sophisticated uh, thing that I have 
uh, among this all. So this is not just a blower. You can use it as a power bank as well. Um, metal finish, kind of small in, in footprints as well. But this is crazy strong as well. And it does have a turbo mode. Feels like I'm going to take off with all that um, fan going on. And finally, the stronger one out of them, obviously, is this big gun right here. Now, if I turn on this and pointing in my bench, everything is going to be flying off. So the only way I can do it is point backwards. The amount of force that this one actually push is just a crazy. You actually get blow backwards with this. So just a bit of a fun experiment. I'm going to set up some bucket and water and you can just visually see how violent this thing is. Um, I do suggest if you guys get one of these, wear ear plugs because this one here will leave your ears ringing if you use it too close to your ears. So I think the best way to show you what this blower can do is something that you can visualize. So there's a bucket of water over there. I am probably have to refill it between um, each of the tests. But so let's start with the weakest one out of them. So this one here, I'm just going with the maximum power. So a bit underwhelming. So next up we have the key car. Now this one I probably have to stand back a little bit. And um, yeah, let's go to 100%. Uh, let's go with 188%. Oh well, I got myself a bit wet. So my video is not scripted. You can exactly see what they actually can and can't do. I'm not selling the products either. So uh, if you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Right, okay, so more water, more fun. So now let's go with this violent fan. So some of you uh, watch my video and say, well, actually um, I want one, but I don't really need one. 99% um, of my stuff on my channel is something that you want, but you don't need. But anyway, so this one, violent fan. This one, I need to stand back a little bit. My ears are ringing. Definitely wear, wear ear protection if you do get one of these. All right, finally, we got this big boy. Again, I'm not going to bother with uh, feathering the control or anything like that. Straight away go to six, which is the maximum. Jesus Christ. There you go. Now I'm all wet from the blowjob. So what do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? There you have it. I really love this um, violent blower purely because it's so cheap. I mean, I, I didn't expect like a two star review item of 24 pound is can have that much fun. The only thing is, remember to use ear protection because every time I kind of a full blast with this thing, my ears just start ringing. Now, if you have a garden with a lot of uh, leaves, then um, the Makita DUB362, that one is a beast. It does everything for you. But the only thing is, it's quite big and you have to lick it around. Let's say if you're around the house and you want to like, you know, dust your computer or, uh, you know, bring it around for me, um, one of the reasons why I love this so much is because I got solar panel on my flat roof and every time I go up there to blow some leaves out, I need to carry this with me on the ladder. Now I don't. Now I just carry this. Battery wise, yes, it does drain battery really quickly. But to be honest with you, um, I got tons of batteries anyway. So that, that to me doesn't really matter. Actually, it's a good thing um, that you can actually change battery. Now the key card, this is really sophisticated. If majority of my work is actually indoor, um, this is the one that I would go for. Um, obviously, like I say, you can't get in the shop, but you know, do have, but do check out their Kickstarter page. And um, this is actually by the company who makes a gimbal that uh, I've been using. 
And uh, I know they make quality motors for the gimbal, but I think now they're branching out to uh, make fans like this. This one here, I can't really recommend or say much about this. Apart from that, if you need sucking, then yeah, this one do suck, but then you do have to fiddle around with it and all that. And um, household, if you need to dust stuff, this will, this will work really well as well because the, the air is actually quite concentrated. Um, this is not going to be a very long video, so thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye-bye.